G'day, Stephen Carey from OffTheGridNoz.com Again, yes, with the standard issue sunset End of the day, sitting here in the outdoor kitchen pondering life as we know it This video is about what is off the grid You like the music? Sitting here watching Red Gum, there's some good music to listen to Red gum, yeah, really good. Anyway, this video is about what is off the grid and the constant debate that goes on. I wouldn't call it an argument, it's a debate. Off the grid, as a definition, if you look it up in Wikipedia, it really defines it as a disconnection from electrical connection, water connection. It really, you know, look it up yourself. It's one of those things. It really is a, a thing that's measured by your connection to the, the infrastructure, and that's the key word. I see a lot of people comment about, well, you're not off the grid if you've got a car. Well, you know, guess bloody what? Oh, I've got a car in the driveway. Most off-gridders have got a car in the drive. You've got to love this red gum music. I'd rather actually video that, but yeah. You have to actually look at what people do when they're off grid they participate in things that on gridders don't get into they don't use their electricity is created on site they don't use grid connect electricity they don't or they try to provide as much for themselves food they get into all manner of things that off gridders if you look it up on youtube they'll they'll there's plenty of videos on it but yeah, the, I get, get tired of seeing the argument that you're not off grid if you're connected. You, if you've got a, a face plant page or a YouTube channel, you're not off grid. Well, guess what? We are off grid. Off grid is a definition, as I said, even if you look it up, a disconnection from services primarily. It has grown into alternative thinking. The two have gelled and mixed to the point where it's pretty hard to figure them out, you know, as different. Most alternative thinkers have probably gone into an alternative lifestyle and are off grid as well. But yeah, look, this is just to shut up a few of the people who, yeah, seem to pop up and they go, oh, you're not really off grid. Well, I am gonna make this video short. How do you like that sunset? And again, we suffer something shocking here, eh? Yeah, I'd like you to stop before you post up. If you're new and you think you've got all the bloody answers, well, me and Kerry have been off grid for eight years or more. Plenty of people have been off grid longer than us. We haven't got all the answers. So if you're new and you want to make a judgment on off gridders as not being off grid just because they run a phone or an internet connection, good on you you know you can go play elsewhere I'm sure you'll find something to amuse yourself with because I'm going to give you this last analogy and this video is going to be short haha <laughs> see you thought I couldn't do a short video didn't you hey well guess what I can unless something pops into my head and then I'll drag it out but yeah I'm going to give you this last analogy off grid you like the music? Yeah, I'm sitting here being distracted by it. You go downtown if you're off grid and you go and find somebody who's lived in an urban setting their whole life and you bring them to your partially off grid, we'll say for the naysayers who reckon because you've got an internet connection you're not off grid. You bring them to your off grid property and you turn around and you show them <laughs> Another good track. I hope my voice is coming out over this. I might turn it down a bit. Okay. Yeah, it was a bit loud. You bring these city slickers up to your off-grid property who might not think you're off-grid because you've got a phone and a car. You take them into your toilet and you stick their nose down that flap. You tell them to throw some frickin' sawdust on their shit when they shut the flap. Take them into the lounge room and tell them not to turn that power point on because you don't run fucking Loy Yang. You haven't got your own nuclear power station. 
You tell them to have a glass of water because it's bloody good for them. That's not just because it's just water. It's water out of your own tanks. You feed them vegetables straight out the garden that they see you cut and make a meal out of it. I'm going to tell you, when you sit those people down while they're eating their dinner, there's not one of those bloody people who would argue one point with you after staring at their shit in the hole, drinking rainwater out of a tank that's pure, close to pure as we can get, and then eating a meal that was cut in front of them, perhaps going outside and lighting a fire pit, watching you cook it on a wood stove, maybe you live in a garage conversion, maybe you live in a container conversion, maybe you live in a yurt, my you know, the analogies are, are broad. Those people sitting in your off-grid world, none of them, and I'm going to use the word, none of them will fucking argue that you aren't off-grid. Alright? So that's what off-grid means, and that's what I believe the definition should be locked and loaded at. And all this crap about, oh, they've got a face plant page, well, they've got a YouTube channel. It has nothing to do with off-grid. Off-grid is thinking. You bring these city slickers up, you sit them down and put them through that process that I went through just then, they're not going to argue with you. So don't be phased by people who put up arguments about mobile phones and car registration. That is an entirely different argument. There is a definition. There is a clear definition, clear difference between off-grid and off-grid lifestyle and being connected to the system. The system is another entity. You need to shove this up the bloody nose of these people like a rubber hose. Make it clear to them that your connection to the system through your phone is one thing, but staring at their shit down your compost toilet and not being able to switch anything on when they want and going outside and having to cook on a wood fire, that makes you off grid, not the bloody phone. Right? But I'd like to end this video with a with a red gum track. I don't know what, what one's up next. I know it's Friday afternoon. This is what you do off grid Friday afternoon. You sit here and make a video and stare at that. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, so that's my take on off-grid. It is just my take. Feel free to argue with me. I'm very old though. Probably arguing with me isn't going to work real well. <laughs> you have to think about the gardeners. You know, hydroponic gardener is not going to align with the organic gardener. You stick any two people in a room and ask them one question about one topic when both people have different views on it, you're going to get argument, all right? The nature of the beast. So, yeah, Steve and Kerry from Off The Grid and .com, yeah, we've got a phone, we've got an internet, internet connection, we've got a face plant page, or two or three, we've got a YouTube channel, we've got... But yeah, this is for the purists. Anyone watching this that goes, oh, if you've got an internet connection, you're not off grid. Well, guess what? We have. We got outdoor TV. So anyway, off the grid is that. Is that? That's my take on it. That's Kerry's take on it. I hate hearing this argument. Subscribe and like if you want. I'm going to leave it at that. Have a nice Friday night, guys. It's a beautiful one. Time for distilled water, eh? As always. Cheers from Stephen Kerry. Hit the like button. As I say, it won't kill you. We'll catch you on the next one. Enjoy your off-grid. And anyone that says you're not off-grid, make them stare down your fucking compost toilet. They'll agree with you that you're off-grid. <laughs> then shove your phone in their face and tell them to shush up. See, I said shush up and not that other words. See, I am capable of that. Catch you on the next one, guys. Have a nice afternoon. Have a nice weekend. Nearly winter, fires are going, life's good. And I'm going to listen to the rest of the red gum for a few hours while the sun goes down. And that's going to be my day. And we'll catch you on the next one. Hope you like the red gum. Bye.